CBS News has learned that shortly before the 2016 election, attorney Michael Cohen secretly recorded a conversation he had with his client Donald Trump. They discussed making a payment to a Playboy model who claimed she once had an affair with the future president. More on this now from Paula Reed, who's at the White House. The president's longtime fixer, Michael Cohen, secretly taped a phone call with Mr. Trump discussing a payment to former playmate Karen McDougal. The call was made just two months before the presidential election. Federal investigators uncovered the recordings, which run about two minutes in April during raids on Cohen's offices and home. The Justice Department is investigating Cohen's role in paying women to stay silent about their claims of affairs with Mr. Trump in the run-up to the 2016 election. If the payments were made to help him get elected, they may be violations of federal campaign finance laws. McDougal says she began a nearly year-long affair with Mr. Trump in 2006. Just a few months before the election, the publisher of the National Enquirer purchased her story but never published it. Earlier this year, McDougal spoke to CNN. Pretty conv you're convinced now this was an effort to do a favor for Donald Trump in the last few months of the presidential race? Unfortunately, yes. The White House did not respond to our inquiries today, but has repeatedly denied the affair, issuing a statement in February saying, this is an old story that is just more fake news. The president says he never had a relationship with McDougal. Cohen's attorney, Lanny Davis, said in a statement, when the recording is heard, it will not hurt Mr. Cohen. Any attempt at spin cannot change what is on the tape. The president's attorney, Rudy Giuliani, told the New York Times the recording also would not hurt his client. We don't know what was said in this conversation or why Cohen decided to record it, but this is an example of how Cohen poses a legal and political threat to the president. And Cohen's recent public statements increasingly indicate he could be willing to cooperate with prosecutors. Jeff. Paula Reed, thank you.